Good morning children. Hope you all are doing good. And I guess that you are writing your notes is right. Or are you spending time in watching mobiles and laptops? Children, I am telling you, don't spend much time in watching mobiles and laptops. It's not good for your eyes also. So spend the same time with your family. Help your mother in cooking. Help in the household work. Or you can ask your mother to teach the traditional cookings. Or you can ask your mother to teach knitting. You can stitch. And many of the, uh, if we see the youth, many of them, they doesn't know how to cook. They simply ordering in Swiggies and Zomatos. Maybe this is the right time for you. You can learn all that and you can enjoy with your family. And I guess many of you have become experts in doing all this by now. Okay, children, shall we go into the lesson? Today I'm going to explain you geography's second lesson, the interiors of the earth. Do you know, children, where the earth is formed? Earth is formed 4.5 billion years ago. It is formed 4.5 billion years ago. And do you know how earth is formed? The earth is formed from the sun. When sun is formed, the remaining particles like dust, rocky particles, gases has released forming the nine planets or I can say it is eight planets because they have removed one of the planets that is the last planet Pluto and right now we are having only eight planets. I know you all know the name of the planets right? The first one is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and the last one is Neptune. So the first four till Mars, these are made of rocky particles. And the remaining four are made of gases which are released when sun is formed. And these heavy particles are close to the sun. So we know that Earth is also close to the sun and it is revolving around the sun when earth was formed it is not like how we see it today it is like a hot round ball like substance if you see if this is the earth the center part gets solidified this is the solid part the heavy particles all has come into this part and all the lighter and denser particles move towards the end all the lighter particles have moved towards the end thus forming different layers in the earth and a scientist called R.D. Oldham he is the one who found out that the earth is having different layers we can also say that the earth looks like an onion if we cut an onion it will have different layers in the same way the earth is also having different layers let us see the different layers of the earth in detail. As I said earlier, the earth is having three different layers. The first one is crust. Second one is mantle. And the third one is core. The crust is the outermost layer of the earth and this is the thinnest of all the layers and it is occupying 0.5 to 1% of the earth's volume is covered with the crust. This crust is further divided into continental crust and oceanic crust. This crust is divided into continental crust and oceanic crust. The crust which is there in the continent is called as continental crust and it is having a depth of 35 to 70 kilometers and this oceanic crust is having a depth of 5 to 10 kilometers. And this continental crust is having minerals like silica and aluminum.
aluminium. Oceanic crust is having minerals like silica and magnesium. So silica and aluminium together called as sile and silica and magnesium together called as cyma. The crust is the outermost layer of the earth and this is the thinnest layer of the earth and it is covering 0.5 to 1 percent of the earth's volume and this earth's crust is divided into the continental crust and oceanic crust. This continental crust is occupying the continents so it is called as continental crust and it is having a depth of 35 to 70 kilometers and it is having minerals like silica and aluminium both together called as sile and the oceanic crust is there beneath the oceans so it is called as oceanic crust and it is having depth of 5 to 10 kilometers and it is having minerals like silica and magnesium both together called as Sima. Now let us see mantle. This is the second layer of the earth and this crust is the thinnest layer of the earth and mantle is the thickest layer of the earth. It is the thickest layer of the earth and it is having a depth of 2900 kilometers occupying 83% of the earth's volume. Mantle is the second layer of the earth and it is the thickest layer of the earth. It is having a depth of 2900 kilometers and occupying 83% of the earth's volume. And if we see the mantle layer, the material there is a kind of semi-solid. It's not liquid it's not solid. It is a kind of viscous material which cannot flow but it is somewhat uh, like viscous or a kind of smooth material. And so that kind of material is called as magma and this mantle is divided into upper mantle and lower mantle. This mantle is divided into upper mantle and lower mantle. And it is having temperatures around 650 to 1000 degrees Celsius. The mantle layer is having temperature of 650 to 1200 degrees Celsius. And even the pressure in the mantle region is also high. Once again, I'll explain about mantle. Mantle is the second layer of the earth and it is the thickest layer of the earth. It is having a depth of 2,900 kilometers and it has occupied 83% of the earth's volume. This mantle is further divided into upper mantle and lower mantle and the temperature here is 6, 650 to 1,200 degrees centigrade and it is having minerals like silica, magnesium, iron, aluminium, etc. It is having minerals like silica, magnesium, iron, aluminium and all these minerals are there in the mantle layer. And the last layer is the core. Core is the last layer of the earth and it is having 16% of the earth's volume and it has a depth of 3500 kilometers and it is having minerals like nickel and iron. Iron Latin name of this is ferrum. So iron nickel plus ferrum is equal to knife. So the core is the innermost layer of the earth and it is occupying 16% of the earth's volume. It has a depth of 3500 kilometers. It is having minerals like nickel and iron. Iron Latin name is ferrum so both together called as knife. And this core is again divided into inner core and outer core. 
the inner core is solid in nature and the outer core is liquid. As I said earlier, when the earth is formed, all the heavy particles have moved to the center of the earth, forming an inner core, solid inner core. So the inner core is solid in nature and the outer core is liquid. And the temperature here is expected to be 5000 degrees Celsius. The temperature there is 5000 degrees Celsius and even the pressure there is also high. The temperature and pressure in the inner core are high. The temperature is expected to be 5000 degrees Celsius.